guys and welcome back to another f1 turbo attacks pack opening as you can see one box has now been opened the future stars so if you want to watch that link below watch it before and you'll get an understanding if i start talking about anything that you don't understand or that's just me i've just got my phone again with a wire because it's charging did it in first video i've done it again consistency is the key but yeah link below if you want to watch that and then come back to this if you're not bothered about consistency or continuity or whatever posh word it is then stay on this video you are more than welcome to stay here uh this one is next the middle one i've opened the hall of fame one already uh and now this is the super elite which i've not opened before so we'll get this open hopefully better than the first one so here we are let's see what goodness is in this one yeah look at that cracking i'm gonna move them back a bit just so i don't hit them so yeah we get a wedge of 60 cards and then this limited edition stuff again which will be some form of super elite goodness so I'm not sure what. But now we see if we get any duplicates. We got some new cards last time. I don't think we got uh, a lot. Like I'd want a lot. Because I've got quite a few gaps still. We've got stuff that we really, really needed. So we're happy about that. So we'll do the same again. Hot, roughly half. So it makes it easier to hold when you're trying to hold 60 cards. They kind of want to go anywhere. So the first card, if I get me lined up again. United States Grand Prix for Charles Leclerc. We get Monza for Ricardo. Which I think these so far are the same. We get off the track, Charles Leclerc. Looks like he's got a bit of lipstick on. 2022, each to their own. We can do what they want. Uh, we get Valtteri Bottas and Gio Guan Yu for Alfa Romeo. We get Charles Leclerc again. This seems to be a very Ferrari-like oriented pack so far. Because out of five cards, there's been a Ferrari, uh, a McLaren, a Ferrari, and an Alfa Romeo, which is basically intertwined with Ferrari. But anyway, from the Gran Premio d'Italia. Looking very nice. Might have got that already. Got Daniel Ricciardo for Spanish Grand Prix. Being hunted down by... That's probably Perez. At the time. Because I know Max were at the front a lot. Team duo again. For Sebastian Vettel. It's sad that he's retiring. And Lance Stroll. Get Mick Schumacher. For Hero. Certainly is boss get Sebastian Vettel for the Mexican Grand Prix Liam Lawson I don't think have I got Liam I might have got Liam Lawson I think I've got him already actually for the uh, Carlin F2 or wrapped in Red Bull Lance Stroll from the Bahrain Grand Prix looking very nice with the reflections brand new tyres or not very used tyres. Mick Schumacher for French Grand Prix. Hopefully one to add as well. Off the track, Fernando Alonso. I might um, I might show the, uh, the folder at the end. Obviously, showing everything that's uh, that's been in at the minute, that's got put in. There'll probably still some gaps. Uh, that one looks different as well. Uh, Nicolas Latifi from the Belgian Grand Prix, the infamous Belgian Grand Prix that never really got started because of a certain person trying to make it interesting and then left them in pit lane while the rain fell. And obviously, as everybody with a brain cell knows, you leave something as it's raining and the water's going to get worse. But anyway, it is what it is. We get Fernando Alonso, British Grand Prix. 
we get epic moment of I've got this card already, Lewis Hamilton going into the pits in Spain. That's his uh, I think actually he's not going into the pits, I think that's when they're finished. I'm not even holding it to the camera, sorry everybody. I'm not even holding it up. That's when they're going into pit lane at the end with the hundredth win. Or hundredth pole, that might be qualifying actually. God, I'm doing well so far, everybody, aren't I? Doing really well. Esteban Ocon off the track. It's when I watch this back and then find out that nothing's been lined up. I've been holding them like this. I'm like, oh yeah, they're actually quite good, these. Nicholas Latifi at uh, Monte Carlo. Esteban Ocon from the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Hmm, that might be another one I've not got, hopefully. Epic moment, Sergio Perez for the Mexican Grand Prix. Sergio Perez again. Hmm, that might be a new one. French Grand Prix. With a thumb up. Pierre Gasly. French Grand Prix again. It's like a, a just all French. Bahrain Grand Prix, Sergio Perez once again. They really want me to fill up on Sergio Perez. France tossed again. Now I start getting them. Now I start getting them that I've already got. Uh, that's grippy. Eh? Don't want to come off. Sergio Perez again. This is a special Sergio Perez pack from the Grosse Prez von Osterreich. Which may be Hungary, I think. Yeah, Pierre Gasly again for the Saudi, blah, 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 the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. And now we get some backwards cards. We get Max Verstappen, French Grand Prix. There's definitely a French vibe. Just Pierre Gasly and then some French Grand Prix. We get Azerbaijan, Pierre Gasly, Pierre Gasly, another French. French pack. Who are we going to get? Ocon? Oh, Sergio, it's Sergio Perez. Again. Sergio Perez, it's French. Oh, yeah, Pierre Gasly again. So we've had Pierre Gasly, Sergio Perez, with French. Perez, French. Yeah, it's just Qatar Grand Prix. That's a nice picture, that. Look at them tyres, how small they look now compared to 18s that are on. Crazy. Epic moment. The Sprint Race, Great Britain. Hmm. I think I've got that one. And we get Yuki Tsunoda off the track. I was just thinking we'd finish then, but no, we've got a big pile sat here. So let's spin them around. Got some silvers. You can see all the silvers at back. Really looking forward to finding out. I've got all of them already. But anyway, we get uh, Lewis Hamilton from the Bahrain Grand Prix. That's cool. Oh, here's Esteban Ocon. I knew we'd be knocking about somewhere. Nicholas Latifi from the Magve Nagdij. Nagid, Nagid, I don't know. I forgot where it was as well. I forgot what track it was. Turkish Grand Prix, Esteban Ocon. Lewis Hamilton. I don't think I've got that one. Lewis Hamilton at the Qatar Grand Prix. That's a great picture. Could dust getting kicked up. But you can't see because of my freaking hand. See dust. Just there. That's a great picture. And then uh, McLaren behind of either Lando Norris or Ricardo. Got Nicholas Latifi for the speedster. I swear that Williams has changed a lot already. Because look at the nose. Look how it is. I'm sure it don't look like that anymore. Upside down, Van Stroll, which, yeah, that's what he likes to do. Just lo looking back at these cars now, this is obviously 2021 car, they just look a lot different. But they're still obviously, still based on the same type of cars, but they just look so much different for these. Obviously these have got, these have got bigger, but Logan Sargent for calling it F2. Right, so much more intricacy. That's the uh, the green Mercedes. Well, there was the pink Mercedes of uh, Racing Point and an Aston Martin. Uh, Monte Carlo as well. Another Monte Carlo one to add to the collection of Monte Carlos. And um, we get Mick Schumacher. That's what. Yeah, that's. I've had this card before because I remember look how low it is to the uh, to the floor there. And the size of the wings, the size of the end plates, massive. And now he's not scraping on the floor. I do not know. We get. A Prema F3 
of Jack Crawford, Arthur Leclerc and Oliver Beerman. I don't know if I've got this lot. I'm not sure. And we get... Is it Ken Bolgbassi? I've got you before. Sure I have. Cracking card though. Cracking card. We get... Gil Guan Yu. Looks like he had a bit of date on card, but I think that's just a photo. Gil Guan Yu. We get Charles Leclerc from the Spanish Grand Prix. Daniel Ricardo off the track. I am missing some Daniel Ricardo cards, but probably this is the one I've got already. So that's about right. We get car for Ferrari. I don't know if I've got this car. That is a look at the I don't know if you can, yeah, look at that. This is all textured, all quite rough. And then look at that. I love the shine. That's beautiful. The F175, I think it is. That's our third way, SF, but I'm thinking it SF1000. I think it's just F175. 75th anniversary, I think. But that is a beauty. I'm certain I haven't got you. I've just seen a badge that might be something uh, that... I think I have. And um, we get Hero Grand New Jill. Doing very well at the minute. Shame about the accident. Very serious accident in uh, Silverstone. Speaking of Silverstone. I did not do that because I saw Silverstone at the top until now. Uh, shows a clear at Silverstone. But yeah with Grand New Jill. It was very very lucky. It just shows the safety level has, uh, has gone on. I know what this card's going to be. Uh, yeah, it just shows how the safety level has gone like through the roof now with the crash structures and most importantly the halo. Because I think, uh, all honesty, that would have ended up a lot worse and might have not had uh, a drive here. Well, two drivers with um, last year, Roman Grosjean. So with the photos of where he landed, uh, yeah, it was insane. But glad he's alright and glad he's back on the paddock again. That's the main thing. And we get, as we move along, McLaren. That's one I haven't got. Look at that badge. I do like the Mercedes. I do like the Red Bull. I love the colours of this. Oh, well, just the designers of these, absolutely. We get Mercedes. One of the first ones. I think Haas were first. I got Mercedes quite early on. But another absolutely stunning one we get red bull again that's my third i think that's my third red bull i need other ones i need ferrari i don't want alpha tauri either I keep getting alpha tauri oh and i've got this one again right what we're thinking all i've got all i've got right so i've got that one i'm sure i've got that one for color science i got this one at last bleeding pack and i've got you already and I've got you already. Is this going to be Max Verstappen? Comment down below now if you've got this far. Max Verstappen or not. Oh, it's not. It's Joe Perez, idol. But I think I've still got you. Ah, Nicholas Latifi, idol. So that is the cards done. And now we've got this little thing. Let's see what Super Elite is going to throw at us. I mean, I can already see Red Bull at back, which is not surprising, because I've probably got a feeling who it's going to be. Oh, yes, I was not expecting that. I've got the F2 gold, I've got F1 gold. Get in! Limited edition F1 gold. Look at that absolute beauty. Yes! I've got F2 twice now. F2 on last one, and F2 early days, back when I first started opening. But F1, get in! That is sick. We get Diamond Guan Yu Zhou. Limited edition. We get gold. Nico Hulkenberg. Nico Hulkenberg. That is sick. Ah, oh, speaking of F2. In one pack. In one pack. We get gold F1 and gold F2. Holy shoot. And we get Super Elite. Lewis Hamilton. Look at that. And I know who's going to be the last one. Right. I've already seen it. It's Red Bull. It's going to be Max Verstappen. Of course it is. I don't get 
the stats on these. I'm sorry. I know I'm a Ma I know I'm a Lewis. I nearly said I'm a Max fan. Max fan then. Oh dear, that's not going to be good. I know I'm a Lewis fan, but I'm sorry. But you gain him an 86 attack, and he's got a 93 towards the back end. If this is based on uh, the 2021 season, which I've got a feeling it probably is. If it is, it might not be. It might be for 2022. But if it's 2021, that attack for the back end of the season should be closer to that. I get the defence is better because he had to defend a hell of a lot. But that attack does not do it justice. Both sick cards, both deserving a super elite. But yeah, that's rant over. That That is a little bit off for me. If it's 2022, yeah, fair enough. Um, but I don't think it is because the defence and attack won't be like that this time because it's not really been long enough into the season to get ratings like that. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit of a disappointment. But at the same time, what a card or what a pair of cards. What a pack. That was sick. That was good. Rant over anyway. It's not a proper rant. It's not a proper rant. It's structural. Structural comments. I don't go on rants and stuff like this. I just have debates. That's where people on social media, they go wrong. They just rant and rant and rant all the time. And it's like, no, you've got to be able to just have a bit of criticism and stuff. See the bigger picture. And then be like, yeah, we move forward. But you get a lot of people that are just haters on everything which i'm not i don't hate on anybody i might be a lewis fan i like lando i like george i'm british but i don't hate on anybody that's just not how you're a fan of, you're not a fan of sport if you hate people but that is just a little bit of my i wouldn't say knowledge but that's just a little bit of me right at the end of the second video of these so we've had future stars completed and that's super elite to finish we have the second mega tin of Hall of Fame. So if you want to see that one, stick around. Subscribe to the channel with a bell on. You'll be notified when this finally gets released, which will probably be in about six months' time. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up. Subs I've already said subscribe. I've been doing YouTube quite a bit now. You would have thought I'd kind of click to this whole like intro-outro stuff. So yeah, I've already said subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment, anything, anything in comments, anything you want to see me do, anything you like, anything you dislike, any packs that you've got that are just sick and you want to like, say, I've got this pack, or any packs that you like that I got. Um, and yeah, I'll see you very soon. Thank you for watching once again. Goodbye. Bye. I never thought I'd feel like this.